we're going to look at another example of a vector word problem. And again, um, vectors we're going to cover more formally later in the year, but it's kind of appropriate to talk about them a little bit now, just simply because um, many of these word problems involve vectors, so we should probably talk about them now. So in our example here, it says a man walks 45 meters east and then 25, 23 meters south. So again, when you're doing these problems, just remember direction is very important. So being mindful of not just the math you do, but how you write your answer. Okay, so um, 45 meters east, so after we gra uh, draw our draw our appropriate diagram, we're going to have to make sure we represent this situation appropriately within the diagram. He walks 45 meters east, okay, so we can do that. He walks, so he starts here, he walks 45 meters east. Forty-five meters east, and you know what? I'm gonna draw that above. Forty-five meters east, and twenty-three meters south. So after he heads east, he heads south. Okay, what is his magnitude and direction? So magnitude, what we mean by magnitude is we mean, mathematically, we just mean the length of the hypotenuse of this right triangle. I keep doing that, sorry. This is a right triangle. What we mean is the length of this, okay? In other words, if you draw, if he walks 45 meters this way and 23 meters this way, we just want to know how far is he from his starting point. That's the magnitude, so. That's just the length of our hypotenuse. So let's stop there. We can get that very easily by using the Pythagorean theorem. That's our hypotenuse there. Call that x. And if we just square root both sides, we'll get our answer. So we can put this in the calculator. Square root. 45 squared plus 23 squared, 50.537 meters. That's my magnitude. So there's my magnitude. Done. Uh, the other big question is, uh, what is his direction? So how do, there's many ways to uh, describe direction, but one of them is angles. So if I said to you, you know, 23, if I said to you 20 degrees, 20 degrees um, north of west, what that means is you're facing, did it again. What that means is you're facing this direction, 20 degrees north, oh, stop it. 20 degrees, oh, I hope you're laughing at this point. 20 degrees north of west means I'm facing west and I go 20 degrees north of it and I label that 20 degrees. That is one way to express direction. Hopefully you agree. 
So what we're expected to do is to basically find this angle. Okay. Now we haven't done this before. We've never found an angle when we're given a triangle that's not a special 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90. We haven't done that yet. Um, but we can do it, and this is where we're going to learn to do it. Um, I know all three sides of this triangle right now. Um, and in fact, from the beginning, I knew these two sides here, the adjacent side and the opposite side. So hopefully you agree that it's a true statement that the tangent of this angle is equal to 23 over 45. Now, in order to get the angle, we could do yes and check, but that would be, that would be terrible. Will take forever. Remember what inverse functions do, right? Remember when when you talk about inverses, right? You switch x and y. For instance, um, you know if uh, if you had to get the inverse of you know y equals x cubed, you switch x and y, and that becomes x equals y cubed, and then you solve for y, right? So you take the cube root on both sides. So the point is, uh, inverse functions send x values to y values. And uh, I'm sorry, if, if a function sends an x value to a y value, the inverse sends that y value, y value right back to the x value. The reason I bring this up is because if we want to get this angle, what we can do is say that the inverse tangent, so this is the first time we've talked about what the inverse tangent is, the angle is equal to the inverse tangent of 23 over 45. So if the tangent of the angle, this is like our x, is equal to, this is like our x, is equal to that, our y, then our y Nope. Then our x is equal to the inverse tangent of our of our y, right? It's again, your x's and y's flip. So, but the point is, um, our angle is equal to tan inverse of 23 divided by 45, which we can go do on our calculator. We just gotta make sure we're in degrees, and we'll get our answer right away. So. Pretty sure I'm in degrees. I do tan inverse of um, was it 23 divided by 45? Yes, 23 divided by 45. You get your angle 27.072. Good. So um, we're not quite done. That's 27.072 degrees. And that is south of east, right? I can't say southeast. I want to say south of east. All right? There's east. I'm going I'm 27.0 degrees south of east. Okay, so just I want to draw your attention to the, the this inverse function, right? Tangent sine, cosine, they Im you input angles and the output is a ratio. With the inverse, you input the ratio and you output, you get out the angle that you started with, hopefully. All right.